Everybody, Don the Mushroom Hunter here and I'm in Portage County and just found some of the most unique and very tasty summer mushrooms. Uh, this is Amanita Jacksoni. So this is one of the American Caesar mushrooms. There are um, out of dozens of different species that are very very closely related to this, all of which are edible. Um, what differentiates this one as Amanita Jacksoni specifically is that it has uh, orange gills. You can't really see that right in there right now, but it also has orange fibrils, uh, kind of this pattern on the stem. Uh, some of these other variants will have a, 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 a kind of a plain yellow stem. They might have whitish to yellow gills. Um, again, they're all all related, but in North America we have many different species um, under this kind of umbrella of the American Caesar mushroom. Um, oddly enough, this is one of the uh, one of the most one of the wild mushrooms that is commonly eaten raw. And I know that's usually something we don't recommend for wild mushrooms, but uh, this mushroom, actually if you cook it, to me, it sort of loses a lot of the nuanced flavor and the texture that it has. So what I like to do with these is slice it really thin, again raw, after removing this, uh, this sack-like vulva at the bottom, um, drizzle it with olive oil, a little bit of lemon, some fresh herbs, salt and pepper, and it's kind of like, um, a fake Caesar salad. Um, but yeah, so back to the identification. These these are growing all under hardwoods. We have um, oaks, there's a little bit of beech and black cherry behind us. Uh, they do associate generally with hardwoods, so you'll find them throughout the summer, um, you know, among mature hardwoods. This uh, sack that you see at the bottom, this like white globular sack, is called a vulva. And basically, the mushroom erupts out of this. This is not edible. You're not going to want to eat this white part, um, but the stem and the cap are. Now, down here, you can see some that haven't even opened or haven't even really kind of um, emerged out of that vulva quite yet. Um, you might even see them younger than this as just what looks like a white egg. Um, just kind of sitting there. And if you slice into it, you'll actually see the silhouette of an orange mushroom inside. Um, so these, again, in, in, varying, in varying states of maturity uh, can look a little bit different. You notice that this one has more of an orange cap where the, the younger ones are a little bit more red. Again, kind of as it ages, the color fades. Um, anyway, something like this is probably uh, like, like these specimens here are really the ones that I like to eat as far as the stage of maturity. Once the caps start to open up um, and, and the gills start to become exposed, the texture isn't quite as, um, as quite as good. They're not kind of as crisp and crunchy. Um, anyway, a very interesting mushroom that grows all throughout the summer in Ohio and North America. And again, some, uh, some other different species out there that are very, very close lookalikes. Um, now it is in the genus Amanita, which does contain some not only toxic, but very deadly mushrooms. So this is not something um, that I would suggest beginners to go out and start putting in their mouths raw in the woods. But again, if you see something that looks like this, that is coming out of the white vulva, it does have a yellow stem with, with orange fibrils and an orange cap. There's really nothing else out there besides the close lookalikes that are, that are also edible. There's nothing else out there that's really, uh, that really looks like this. Um, and especially, there's nothing out there that's toxic. So anyway, a lot of stuff popping up today. Uh, my friend and I are here. We found a bunch of really, really prime chanterelles um, that are, that are beautiful, an old man of the woods, some rusulas. So summer mushrooms are just getting started here in Ohio, which is really exciting. Happy hunting.